What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from First 30 Minutes and GamesReviews.com with another episode of Pioneers of Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. Glad to have you along for the ride today. We are going to upgrade our hammer today. We've got all the resources that we need, so it's just a matter of taking them into town and getting that new hammer made. So please join me for that. Um, and we're also going to try out a couple other things. I had a request to check out the beehive, which is on the third level of the farm. We'll see what it costs to replace that. And we'll continue kind of trying to clean up our main area of the farm, this one here. So it is raining, which means no watering today, which is handy. Uh, I mean, our sprinklers are already pretty helpful in that regard, but we have nothing here to water, so we can just get right to work on these um, makers. So let's just get rid of this little tree here for a second. I'm not really quite sure yet how we're going to make our makers work, but we are. So uh, we're going to clear them away, clear away. I think they go back in our inventory. Yeah. So it's just as easy as doing that. And then let's figure out how we're going to do this. We have four of these. Um, and uh, we just need to set them up at this point. So let's see what we can do here. It's a little finicky, in my opinion, to get the exact layout you want. Um, although maybe if you come at it from this way, it's a little easier. I don't think that's... No, that's not right. Let's clear that away. Yep. And it's just making sure that you do it correctly. There we go. So there's one, two, three, and let's clear this one away. Yes. And four of these. There we go. Okay. In front of these four, I'm going to put the uh, the ore makers for sure. So let's grab one, two, three. And let's put these just in front of these ones. Uh, probably should have more, but we don't. So we're just going to stick with what we got here, and we're going to do this. Two and three. And I'm going to put the thread makers, of which I have two of. Clear that one away. And uh, let's clear this one away. And let's put these there as well. Uh, there we go. So those are done. And then we can move these wood ones. But before we do that, I want to start dealing with our animals a little bit. Just to get a head start on that. We're going to cut these trees down too at some point. Let's let them out. So I'm just going to check. Oh, I can't because it's raining. Duh. Hopefully there's some fodder in here. There's not, but we'll go get some. How are you doing, buddy? And how are you, Wooly? And uh, we'll make with the cow, but we do have to make sure there's some food in here because this is not going to do. All right, out we go. We'll head up to the uh, the silo. Apparently, I can craft. People are telling me I can craft an auto feeder, but I just don't know if I have that ability yet. Let's see here if any of these are an auto feeder. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't look like it yet if i'm missing it someone tell me but it does not look like there is an no okay there is a seed maker though did we ever see what it costs to make the seed maker because i was gonna get one it's a dye mayonnaise where's the seed right there no nope. powder yogurt textile essence seasoning butter yarn seed um well, we're going to upgrade our hammer, so we're not going to worry about that right now. But we do need some more gold. We have everything else. Oh, no, we don't have this wood charcoal. How do I get wood charcoal? Hold up. Oh, it's right there. And Hold up. Oh, shoot. Uh, right here is how you get wood charcoal. What do I need? Oh, okay. Uh, solid logs, two of them to make some charcoal. Okay, we can do that. What are we harvesting here? Oh, melon. That's going to be a new crop. 100%. Nice. So once we shell, sell that, we'll be able to buy that at the... Uh... Hello. Hello. You guys are pretty happy. Uh, once we sell the melon, we'll be able to buy that at the general store. I'm actually... Oh, there's only two. Um, Do I have any fodder? I do not. Okay. 
All right, the next thing I promised to do was check out the beehive, so let's do that. I think still chugging away. Uh, you only have to put in stuff every five days. I've been doing it sooner than that, but you don't need to. It's not a requirement. Lots of flowers up here uh, and some rosemary for cooking, so that'll be good. Let's go. The beehive, I think, is right. Here it is. So there's the beehive. Someone was asking about that. We'll need some durable lumber and some tough grass, which uh, I'm not sure we have the tough grass here grass yet uh that's this this stuff up here we'll get there uh it's not really a priority today I'm just gonna try to clean up my makers a little bit today i think it's gonna be my ultimate goal nice uh pineapple beautiful nice okay let's take some fodder out of here can i take fodder out yeah okay i didn't want to take it all though we do need to get those auto i right, can put uh there's two so i need 18 total Oh no, shoot. <laughs> I need uh I need to keep 18. Oh dang it. Oh man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, I need to get rid of 22. There we go. Jeez Louise guys. Sometimes you have troubles, eh? Which is fine. Okay. Um Yeah, we'll save some of this stuff to do on a different episode. So let's head back to the uh to the barn and to the coop. We're gonna give this fodder to our animals and then go back and work on our makers a little bit longer. And then after that, um, most definitely we will uh, head into town. We're gonna upgrade that hammer as soon as possible. And we're also going to um, upgrade the hammer and we're also gonna go see Lynn. And uh, I think that's about it actually. I don't know if we have anything else we plan to do in town. We can talk to a couple folks of course, but today's about getting those makers as organized as we possibly can. I know it can't be perfect, but uh, but we can do our best, so we're going to do our best, right? If you haven't noticed yet, uh, on my community post on my channel, as well as in the description of this video, you're going to be able to see contest info. Um, no! Didn't mean to do that. Um, can I put the maker right out front here? That'd be cool. Hold up. I did not mean to clear away this maker. Oh, we don't do that. I keep going into my inventory to like do stuff and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have to do that anymore. I'm just gonna put this here for now. Um, it makes sense to have it near my barn, I think, but that means I should move my mayonnaise one too. That would make the most sense, but we probably will move the mayonnaise one shortly, so. All right, let's get some work done on these wood ones. <clears throat> We had absolutely no room for any of that, so that was great. So I can't, I could have lined this up a little better, but I mean, it's not the end of the world in my opinion. Let's just grab these and put them here. We're just trying to make it look nice. I mean, I could put uh, roads, in, or not roads, I could put paths in between all this. Probably not going to. I just, just informing you I could, um, but that seems like a waste of materials right now. Not something I really necessarily need to do. Okay, let's sell some of this stuff because we are going to be able to... Oh, yeah, we made this dish so we can go in and see uh, uh, what's his name as well. That'll be a good thing to do. All right, I'm just going to dump some extra stuff here because I don't need to hold on to all of this. Oh, these boards shouldn't be in here. Let's go in the wood container. Silly. All right, we just need one flower for our girl, so we'll just hold on to one of those. And... Uh... I think go this one here too, maybe. Okay, and then we'll come here, store some more lumber. Never a bad thing just to have a ton of lumber on hand is what I've learned. Clear away, clear away. So we're just gonna get this done here and then uh, we'll head into town. Uh... All right, let's get this finished, and then we can head into town. All right, there's one. I wish they kind of stacked. It would make it easier for doing this, but, I mean, it's okay to run around my inventory. I mean, I, it makes sense, logically, why these things wouldn't stack. So I can say that. Like, logically, yes, giant makers probably should be able to stack. There's not a lot of logic in that. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, all right, let's knock these down, get rid of them. 
We don't need them. But I can throw some of that in to get cross dust. All right, let's uh, keep going here. So I, it looks like I misjudged by a little bit. That's okay. All right, hold up. There we go. I don't know how many more of these I... I don't know if I had 11 or 12 or if I have even more than that. Oh, that's it. Okay, there we go. So now it's a little cleaner than it was. Which will probably make a few folks happy. I'm going to clear this one away and put it back. I'm going to put this one down here by the... By the uh, the mayonnaise, uh, the yogurt one. Sorry, not the mayonnaise one. I'm gonna put down here by the yogurt one, just like that. And that seems to make just a bit more sense. All right, I think we're gonna head into town right now um, and see what we can do. I might work on this path again some more. I should move these bins. I'm thinking about putting the bins up here, but I feel like because they're full of stuff, everything that it's full of is just gonna dump out. Okay, so we need to figure out what we're taking. We need 10 of these, and we need 10 supple lumber, I think. And that's it. So what do we need for that, um, the beehive? We needed durable lumber for the beehive? I already forget. Hmm. We'll figure it out. But I can take out uh, six of these. I can take out all those and all of those. All right, so they can only go in. Oh, that's a different kind of lumber. All right, well, let's just. Uh, I gotta have it organized a little bit. It's gonna bother me if it's not organized. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's um, let's just get some wood going here because why not? Makes sense. All right, let's go check out the uh, let's go check out the silver ore situation. I only have two, but I can do this, and then I can do two more of these, so that'll be good. And I should have checked one more thing here. Do I have any clay? I have some mortar there that I've never done anything with. I should probably think about doing something with that. Do I have any clay anywhere? I got two, but that's not going to be enough. Um. Yeah, let's go into town. So we got to stop at Lovett's. We got to stop at. We still have tons of hearts, so we don't need to go get a. We don't need to go get a meal at the bistro. That's going to be a waste of time today. I don't think we've unlocked any new title rewards. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Lovett, Lynn, and get our tool upgraded. That's the uh, the three pronged attack for the town today. Then we're going to get back. And I think start clearing up some of the uh, secondary area around our coops and stuff. That's we got to get that done um, sooner rather than later, in my opinion. So we can put up some fences around the. We can put up fences around the um, the coop and the barn, and then I'll actually plant grass there, and that'll just kind of be where we get our glass from. Our gl grass from. Sorry. All right, there we go. So we handed that over, and we got some stuff. So we need to catch a crayfish. Uh, what did we get for that? We got, uh, nothing really great. Nothing, like, we can get rock salt, I can get peppercorn, and I can get sugar cane easily, so... Well, let's talk to Levette while we're here. Hello, sir. Yeah, it is. The rain sucks. There's not very many people walking around in town when it rains. Which makes logical sense, actually, so... It's kind of nice that they don't continue... I don't think they continue people's normal walk patterns when it rains. I think they must have... They must have coded a certain, um, they must have coded what villagers do or what citizens of all of town do when it's raining out, which I think is kind of cool. All right, let's hope we brought the right stuff. We did. Golden. Boom. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> that was a lot, but we had the golden axe, which means we can probably go do that mini game today too, guys. Give that a go. Might be something worth doing. I do want to do the gold mine. I want to knock down some trees in that secondary area. There's a lot of things I want to do, is what I'm learning. Okay, let's head over to see Lynn. Uh, our hearts are going up pretty slow just giving her these crappy flower gifts. Like people have been saying, we need to get her some mango. And or we need to start... Um, like, I don't know if diamonds or stuff like that will be better gifts, but... Let's see how we're doing. We were only like a sliver of a heart last time. Oops. So let's just check here again. 
Uh, yeah, we're not doing that well. I mean, almost halfway to three, but it's still not great. Uh, I prefer to be, I prefer to give her better gifts and get farther. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's roll. Let's roll. Okay. Heading back to the farm now. It's 335. It's the seventh. Anyway, I think I mentioned this once already. We have a giveaway. Community post, Twitter, description of this email or this video you can watch and uh, enter to win a copy of Pioneers of Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. It will require a North American eShop account, but hopefully uh, you can get one of those. You just need an email address, no credit card or anything required. Okay, so we got our better hammer, and I think the first thing I'm going to do with it is actually go play the mini game again. I think the goal is the goal is four thousand. So if we can hit four thousand, then we can definitely get um, we can definitely get more hearts. And trust me, that's all I really want right now. So let's play. I'm glad you don't have to pay to play. Probably would have been more interesting if you had to pay to play. But uh, three, two, one, and we're gonna. We're gonna go. I'm sure there's like a time when we shouldn't be focusing on this, but look how fast that's gonna go now. Like, remember how many hits that was taking us last time? Like, that's crazy. Let's do this. But all these other ones are not worth wasting our time on. So, like, it's not worth going down there to like clear those all out. We're looking for these big boys, and that's it. Like, we need four thousand. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna hit them to get our way through here. But that's it. I mean, I don't even know if it's worth doing that. We might just want to go like this and just plow our way through until we can go find bigger stuff because it's not worth it to hang around and try to get that little stuff. It's just not. Right? So we just want to get through and then actually I'm going to do it here because I think I can get almost all the way over by doing this. Yeah. Oops. The problem I'm having is that this is not separated enough for me, if you know what I mean. Like this is not, this is not going to be the run. I don't think this is going to be the run. We're only... Oh, no. Um, go, go, go. And we're almost out of hearts. How did we waste so many hearts? Is that... Oh, because we're wasting our energy on those stupid... Okay, never mind. It is. It does make sense to use the, uh, the thing because you're... Yeah, it does make sense. All right. So we're not even going to get close to the 4,000. So that's disappointing. This was a really hard level compared to the last one I played. I feel like the last one I played, I could have done this no problem. Only because everything was set up to... Uh, everything was set up better. Like, this one's not set up great. Like, this is terrible. Like, people are like, oh, once you get the gold hammer, it's going to be a piece of cake. Not a piece of cake. I don't know what's better. To use the, like, the pound or to... Yeah, that was bad. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. We'll do it a couple times. I don't want to do it too many times in one video. Because that might become a little boring. But uh, let's try again. Remember, we're aiming for 4,000 points. Okay. Go. And we don't want to waste too much of our energy uh, hitting things we don't need to hit. So it does seem like this is the best way to go. Because I don't need all these points. I just need to get through here. I think. So this is all we're going to do here. And then we're going to take on this. Because if you use your your charged up hit. You like waste your. You waste your hearts like crazy. And it's not worth it. The points we're getting for hitting single rocks is terrible. Right? So. Uh, I don't know if these are worth anything. But I'm going to hit this one anyway. I think they are though. No. Maybe not. That might not have been worth it. Okay. I don't think that was worth it. Again, these are spread out. They're not all together like they were last time. So I'm a little disappointed by that. Perfect. Let's go. At most, I'm going to try it three times. If I can't do it in three goes, then we're, uh, we'll try it a different day. Because I got other things I want to do. Although I don't think this take Like this is... The last time I did this, 100%, I had some of these big things all clustered together. You know what I mean? And this time, that's not the case. It's kind of frustrating. So let's just keep going and see what we can do here. Okay, 
Okay, so this time the problem wasn't the stamina. We're gonna make it all through. We're gonna make it through all our time. It was the fact that I don't know why. Like, do you have to get lucky with the placement? Because once again, there was none of these gems placed close together. And hundred percent, the first time I played this, they were. They were grouped together. Yeah, like this is terrible. We're not even gonna hit two thousand. Crap. One more time. Let me try one more time. I mean, I'm getting some sprite coins, I guess, which is always good, but... Alright. Yeah, let's try again. Last time. And we'll try it on, on another video. Or wait, I'll, I'll wait for your tips, because I'm going to need some tips. I'm going to need some tips for how to, to play this one, because it's not going how I hoped. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. It's not going how I hoped. Um... Let's see, though. I think you get 120 seconds. And, I mean, ultimately, like, there's a couple hundred points, which is nice. But why are... Where's all the gems that are grouped together? Like, that's what I want. Let's go. See, these ones are almost grouped together, but not, though. You know what I mean? Like, we're almost grouped. If this is a dead end, though, that's going to be... Oh. You also need to make sure you hit your... You're doing your things on time. All right. Yeah, that's not a good go already. I need some of those really good ones. That's what I need. Like, it's way too far between good gems. Like, this is what I'm... All right, here we go. Boom. So, I don't know if it's worth it to... To... Um, do the charged hit every time for these ones. Maybe near the end, but it does take a lot of energy to do that, so... I'm going to try this way. There's a couple more. I mean, this is going to be our best run yet, for sure, because these ones are worth a decent amount of cat or a decent amount of points. But we're still not going to get anywhere near that 4,000. And I think that's what people are saying. I think they're saying 4,000. I want to say, like, I wish it was 3,000, but I'm pretty sure people are like, no, it's 4,000. So we're going to hit 2,000, no problem. That's not going to be the issue. It's going to be hitting uh, 4,000. That's going to be a problem. Remember when I hit, like, a one time we played, and I hit, like, 1,500, and I was, like, so happy? Yeah, those days are over. Oh, my goodness. So, you gotta hit right, too. Like, if you're not hitting the straight, you're not gonna win. I mean, I would love to say it's 3,000, but I don't think it is. Yeah. Dang it! It's not even close. <sighs> I think that's a glitch right there. Not even close. <sighs> okay. Give me some tips. What have you seen from other people? What am I doing wrong? Let me know. We're going to we're gonna head back to the farm and just do some stuff. It's already 7 o'clock at night now. Because I wasted so much time doing those sprite minigames. That's a little frustrating. A little frustrating, but what can you do? I was so excited for today, too. I was so excited to do this work, but... You know what? It is what it is. So let's... We're not going to get into the gold mine anymore today, so let's... Let's just take our axe out and deal with some of this here. Uh, and we'll fill up our... I think you get something when you hit 100 of those little sprites. I think someone said that, too. But people could be wrong, right? I could just be... Li I could be listening to people, and maybe I shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Alright, let's... Nice! That was a good one right there. I love when you get a good one. Like, it feels good to knock down a good chunk of trees. See, and then there's a bad one. Um, But we're gonna clean up. This is cleanup day at this point. Let's get these trees cut down. Open this area up. And then maybe we can... Um, like, my goal is to put down some... Uh, to put down some gates around these pens here. And then actually worry about maybe planting some grass in here. Now, I don't think they need actual grass. It would be more of an aesthetic thing. People have said, hey, they will. They, you let them out and they'll eat grass. And I think they mean they'll eat this wild grass. I think. But we're going to test that theory out by putting together a pasture. 100%. We're going to buy lots of grass seed. We're going to build a pasture. And we're going to plant it all and see what happens. That's kind of like my goal here. But let's keep going on these. Let's keep going on this wood. Um, let's knock down these trees here. There we go. And we're gonna push these uh, pens back to the back, up against the 
Um, up against the... On the house. Up against the... What am I trying to say, guys? You know what I mean. I don't have to. I don't have to explain myself. You guys know what I mean. So this does a nice big area now too, though. That's nice. All right, we got some more silver ore, which is going to be good. Um, sure. There we go. Boom. I do find it annoying when I have to like work on how I'm going to do this to like maximize. Like it's the worst. But at the same time, it's not the end. Okay, so let's uh, knock this tree down. How much time do I got? It's about 9 or 15. Um, if I do the coop... Okay, let's clear it away. Yep. And then... Let's just see if we can put it back up. Or where we can put it back up. Oh, that might have been where we could put it back up. All right, so that's as far back as we can put it, actually. Um, coop. There we go. Confirm. All right, let's put you back in the coop. There we go. And let's put you back in the coop. Thank you very much. And pick up the fodder. Let's go put it away really quick. It looks like they didn't eat any today. Oh, they probably ate already. When I checked, they had two left, so that means they probably ate. So they're good to go. And then I want to put this barn back. Um, but I probably should clean up a bit back here. Like that. And like that. I do find it annoying that you use the hammer to deal with uh, trees. I just wish you didn't have to do that. I wish I could deal with trees with always with an axe. It just seems to make more sense to me. All right, we'll move this back tomorrow, though, just because we're running out of time today. So let's, I'm going to knock down these, and then I'm going to... Oops, no, maybe I'm not. I'm just going to go quickly. Let's go. Let's go. We're running out of time. So when you do go to bed late, you do run the risk of not having as much stamina the next day. So it's quite annoying. Um, but we're not going to waste these. Um, I'd rather have my makers working and then just go and have some heat at the bistro. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I want to do. So let's get this done and then we'll, uh, we'll close out the episode. All right, everyone, that will do it for another episode of Story of Seasons Pioneers of Olive Town on Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for coming out. If you would, hit that thumbs up button, give it a like, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.